welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Hey friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me at my desk. I appreciate you all so very much for all the birthday wishes yesterday. Um, it's just overwhelming it was so many i appreciate that so much and i just love you guys and i'm so thankful to have you in my life so today i am working on this happy birthday blanket that i am making and some of you are joining along and some of you are just crocheting on your regular projects some of you might be diamond painting some of you might be folding laundry that is perfectly fine just come hang out with us and let's chat and enjoy our day it is wednesday here about 10 30 a.m at the time that i'm recording this video so i would just tell you guys that monday afternoon i tried to crochet my three squares here and i just i just wasn't getting anywhere i just was not you ever have those days where you're just working and working and working and nothing's really happening <laughs> That was my Monday evening, and so I was just like, oh, let me just go to bed. I just need to go to bed. I was frustrated, and so I said, well, let me just go to bed, and I'll get up in the morning and finish this. Tuesday morning, I woke up feeling horrible. I was hurting all over. I just could not even get out of the bed. I was just struggling, okay? <laughs> but I did get out of the bed, and I, you know made effort in doing square number two and it was just like it was just like I was spinning my wheels it was just not working out I couldn't get my yarn and my hook and my hands to cooperate together and it was just so frustrating <laughs> but I felt really bad I just had a really bad day it was one of those days where everything is going wrong nothing works out and you just want to throw your hat in the ring and just say, forget it. <laughs> but you can see I didn't. I didn't say forget it. I said, let me take a break and I'll come back and work on this in a minute. <laughs> so that's what I did Tuesday. I would just work a tiny little bit on this until it started getting frustrating. And I would just put it down and go do whatever. Just, And I did that. Tuesday. Now, I felt really bad. I was just achy and hurting all over. And today's not the greatest, but I, I'm, you know, not, I'm not in tears today, okay? <laughs> you know, we all have those days where it's just too much, too overwhelming, too much, and it just can't function. And so a day off is in order, right? But anyway, I, I worked on this off and on all day. I mean, all day I worked on this off and on. I finally got all it done except for the white. And um, Big Daddy called me and said that we were going to go out with our son Dakota, meet up with him at a restaurant uh, for my birthday. And I didn't really feel like going because I was just having one of those days, you know. But I'm glad I went. <laughs> and... So, you know, I didn't really feel like going, but I wasn't going to say no because they wanted to, you know, get together and celebrate my birthday. So, that's what, it, you know, I was doing it more for them than I was for myself. So, we went and uh, Dakota made me a Dolly Parton cake and brought it. So, I'm going to stop the video right here and show you my cake that Dakota made me. Isn't that so cute? He did a great job on that. It was just really cute. And on the inside of the cake is caramel cake with caramel icing holding the layers together. And it's buttercream icing on the outside. And it is just yummy. I was able to eat a little bit of it. Cake just kind of crumbles up, 
you know, it doesn't like, some dough pastries or breads, you know, they just clump up and make a ball. Cake is more crumbly, and you can just crumble that up with your tongue and, you know, um, and get it to, you know, to go down. It, it, most of the time, sometimes, not all the time, but most of the time I can get it down. I mean, like I said, sometimes I can't get water down. If I can't get water down, of course, cake's not going to go down. But, um, I was able to eat a piece. And it was so yummy. It was. It was so yummy. I almost hated to cut it. It was so cute. But Dakota did cut the back side of it. And me and him and D Big Daddy ate a piece of cake and just sat and talked. And I felt better after we left. Um probably getting that sugar in me <laughs> made me feel better because I had thrown up a bunch during the day. Every time I tried to eat something, like some grits, I couldn't get them down and I was just having a lot of trouble. Okay guys, so anyway, um, I am going to start on this and show you guys what I'm doing. So here's my three squares. And these three squares are going to be the center of my rectangle granny blanket. Okay. Now, there's going to be links in the description box below of how to make a granny square. How to chain and go around that chain to make a granny blanket, rectangle blanket. And also how to do squares and make a rectangle blanket. So, anyway, this is what I'm doing for my April project. It is my birthday project, <laughs> if you say. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I need to connect these together. And I'm just going to simply single crochet these together. I have the face up and the back side down. Okay? So, I'm just going to lay this over just like so. And then I'm going to come and go through my corner and go through the corner. Now remember the two face front sides are facing each other. This is the back side and this is the back side. So I'm just going to single crochet right up this row here through here. That's my corner piece sections there. Go through the corners holes. And then I'm going to just take my yarn and place it over my hook. You do this ever how you want to, and I'm going to do it ever how I want to, okay? And then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to go right back through the same corner hole and grab my yarn and pull it up and single crochet. So we have our first single crochet. Now we're going to single crochet just down this one side right here, all the way down. So I'm going to go right here and these three double crochets. I'm going to go in this first one on this end. Same thing on the back. I'm going to go in this first one right here. And I'm just going to pull my yarn through and single crochet. Now the second one, the middle and the middle. Now I'm at this chain one space. I'm just going to go through it, grab my yarn, pull up, and chain one. I mean, single crochet. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and so that's what I'm going to do all the way down here. It's just single crochet this. Uh oh. But make sure you do get, you know, both granny squares. That you're getting the all, it would be four loops when you go through, like I'm not going through this middle one here, the middle double crochet. I've got two loops there, plus the one that was on my hook. And then I'm going through and getting two loops from the back square. Okay, and then just, you know, keep single crocheting all the way down. When you get to the chain one spaces, just go through that space. Okay. 
just go through the space and pull your yarn through and single crochet. This really doesn't take too much time and we're just doing the one side for you know each connection. Oh, I got too much of something on there. <laughs> too much of something something pulled through. All right. Oh, I'm glad it's a new day. I still feel a little not quite well, <laughs> but at least today is going better than yesterday. Okay, that, that's all I can hope for, is to be better than I was yesterday. It was a rough day, but... Yeah. Alright, so I just went through uh, chain one space, so now I'm going through the three double crochets. Whew. All right. It is a pretty day here. It's cooler. Um, let's see. Alexa says it's 60 degrees. On my Alexa screen. It says it's 60. But the wind is blowing. And that makes it super chilly. That does make it super chilly. But the sun is shining. And so that's good. We supposed to have storms yesterday. But they didn't make it this far down. They were up a little bit higher than us. Thank goodness. We did not get that. And I hope that anyone who did is safe and well. All right. Oh, yeah. I, here lately, it just seems to be like it, it's so frustrating because you know I have things I want to do, I have plans, I have you know accomplishments I want to get done, and all that kind of stuff. But sometimes my body just fights against me, and um. I, I can't get those things done, and that, that's frustrating, and I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> but when you don't have any control over it, it, it's hard, it really is, it's disappointing, and just playing out frustrating, and people who don't realize your goals, or your, um, you know, your plans and all that, they may not understand, like, why is that so frustrating? You know, just just stop. <laughs> but I can't. I can't just stop. I have, um, you know, I have things I want to accomplish and get done. So my best bet is to just um, take a break. <laughs> Even last night, I sat up in here last night getting these um, the my third square done and getting this white around those two squares and then I was going to record my video last night and um, so I got the squares made and got um, all my ends tied off and trimmed and everything and then I was just like I was so wore out I was I attempted to do a video and it was horrible and I was just like I, was, I, I can't do a video tonight I'm just going to wait and do the video tomorrow it won't go out first thing but that's okay it'll, it'll get out it'll get out eventually and you know <laughs> maybe it'll get watched so this morning I woke up with a major reflux and then I was like well gosh I, I was so hoarse and my throat was hurting so bad I was like well let me let me try to drink a little bit. I drank some coffee. I, and I was like, well, let me see if I can eat some oatmeal. Just something, you know, trying to soothe that throat, make it feel better. I drank some milk. I was just doing all kinds of things. <laughs> drank some Pepto. <laughs> and, um, then it was time for the nurse to call. She usually calls around nine 
9, 9.30 to say that she's coming on, on a Wednesday. So I was like, well, let me let me give her time to call because I don't want her calling while I'm trying to do the video. And then she never did call. And so <laughs> finally I was just like, okay, I can't sit around and wait on her all day long. I got to work too. So, here I am doing the video. <laughs> I hope the rest of my month goes better than the last two days here. <laughs> okay, so that is my first two squares together. And now I'm going to jump over here and put this third square, which you could call it first, second, or third, or whatever. But I'm going to take this square and fold it over where it's face to face and back side out and back side down and I'm going to turn this around I'm just going to fold this one up just so I have room and pull me some yarn out I had several people to ask about my work this is a horse shark and it's called a hork I showed this in the um, hook video one day last week. I guess about last Tuesday or Wednesday. I did a um, crochet hook video. And I did show the hork in that. <laughs> but that is my hork. It's something silly. Just something silly. I like weird stuff. The weirder the better. If it ain't weird, I don't like it. Okay. So this is just a, you know, different way to make a granny square blanket. You know, there is a traditional way where you, you know, crochet the line, the chain, and then come back around and crochet around it. And that works. But this is just a different way and kind of fun way and kind of an interesting center is what I like about it. Is that you can just make your center interesting. You can make your granny squares in the middle all one color. And then go rogue after that or just whatever. I just, I just like the interest that it creates. Because it's different. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Now, keep in mind that the center for this, I would not go much bigger than this right here. Because you want to keep your, you want your blanket to be proportioned correctly. The first one I made of these, I did three rounds. I did three granny squares with three rounds each. So they were just little small squares. And it worked out fine. And then the next one I did, which was a sweetheart blanket that I started on April the 1st. I mean, not April. February the 1st. And I completed that blanket during February. I did, I think it was five rounds. And I'm not sure if that was counting my white or not. I'd have to go, I'd have to look at it and count. But, um this one i did do six rounds and then the white so that makes seven rounds i really wouldn't go much bigger than that i mean you might could push eight rounds but keeping in mind that you want your blanket's going to be growing lengthways and width and if your if your rectangle in the middle is really long then your blanket is going to be super long and super skinny so you want that to be proportioned correctly. So you just really don't want to do too long of a center. If you're doing this. You don't want your squares in the middle to be too long. Or you'll have, you know, a skinny, skinny blanket that is super, super long. So think about that as you're putting one together. If you decide to make a granny blanket like this. Keep that in mind. You don't want that center strip to be too long for that reason because you want it to be 
you know, you want as it grows, you want it to grow and look proportioned correctly. That's just my thoughts on that. Um, somebody else might have some other thoughts, and that's fine. You can share that with us if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, I just just thinking about how it's going to grow as you're crocheting around it. It would make sense that you don't you just don't want it to be too long unless you're super super tall if you're seven foot tall you might want a really long blanket anyway I am going to keep this blanket for myself I don't normally keep blankets for myself um, but I am going to keep this one for myself because it is my birthday blanket. Several, several people asked about the duck blanket. I have finished it. I haven't shown it yet because I want to give it to the grandmother before I show it. I want to give it to her. And so I think we are going to meet up with them one night soon. I don't know if it's this week. Um, could be. I don't know if it's tomorrow night or next Thursday night. I'm not really sure. But we're going to meet up with them and um, and I'm going to give it to the grandmother and then I will show it on the video finished. But I just don't want to show it until I've given it to her because sometimes Miss Belinda watches. I know she follows me on Instagram also, so yes I'm just gonna wait all right now almost finished and then we will have our center done and I don't know how much time has went by but um Let's see. We might can go ahead and put a round around this. Or at least get started on the round. I'll show you how I'm doing that. Because I am doing a little bit something different. Um, at, on the round the edges. And I just want to share that part with anyone who needs to know. Okay, so this side over here is where I had um, connected back. And so it's kind of have a knot right there where I tie it off. I just gotta force my hook through there. There it goes. Force and pull it back through forcefully. <laughs> Alright, and then the middle double crochet. And then one more. Alright, I'm through my corner, and then I'm going to go ahead and just do a chain there to kind of tie that off. Alright, so now we have three granny squares that will be the middle of our granny rectangle blanket. It looks a little misshapen right now, but that'll that'll work out as we go around it. And then, so you might have crocheted over yours. I weave mine in because I feel a little bit safer doing that. I trust that more. So I'm not going to show you weaving that in because I'm sure you know how to weave in yarn strands. But I'm going to crochet across this right here because I just want to show you what I'm doing right here at this part. Other than that, um, it'll be the same all the way around. So, let me see. I'm going to use purple as my first color. 
So let me get my purple. And this is a lilac. I'm using this lilac. Um, I think on Monday's video, April the 1st, I did show all my colors and what they were and all that. The ball band had came off of that in the store. Well, it wasn't on it whenever I picked it up from the bin. And I went ahead and got it and, you know, took got the band and took up front with me. Okay, so I like to start in corners. That's just my preference. So I'm going to start right here in this corner. And I'm going to chain three. Alright, and then I'm going to um, do my three double crochets. Okay, and then chain two. <laughs> and then I'm going to do three more double crochets. Alright guys, so anyway, this really isn't like a tutorial. I was just kind of talking it out to myself. Um, this is more just a crochet along instead of a tutorial. But like I said, I do have links in the description box right up under this video here on YouTube that um, you can watch some other videos about um, making rectangle blankets and granny squares they're my videos so okay um all right and so i chain two in the center i mean in the corners between each cluster i chain two to leave that corner hole and then going down the side i chain one in between mine you don't have to do that if you are, comf you know, if you're used to not doing chaining, then don't chain. I'm not trying to change the way you crochet. You do it ever how you are comfortable doing it, how you're used to doing it, because there's no right way or wrong way. And most likely, anybody who looks at your work is not even going to know if you chained or not. But some people chain and some people don't. And that's just the way it is. <laughs> I learned chaining and so that's what i'm doing if i was to try to stop chaining now i would probably have a chain one in between every other one because i wouldn't remember that i wasn't supposed to chain so i'm in the habit there's no changing me now so i'm gonna keep on doing my chain one and so just moving on along um, yes, I do thank you, thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. That was just, um, surprisingly overwhelming. I mean, I was just, I was not expecting so many birthday wishes. I haven't really got on social media yet. Um, Big Daddy kind of showed me yesterday and... I just never did have time to get on social media. But I'll get there. I'll, I'll try to get there. Maybe tonight when I'm trying to relax some or something. <laughs> yeah, Dakota um, made that Dolly Parton cake. But he didn't record doing any of it because his... Uh, charger on his laptop broke. He did get another one and he got the wrong size. <laughs> he went to Best Buy and bought one and it was the wrong size. So he just got online and ordered one off of Amazon and I think it is supposed to be in today, he said. But, um, yeah, he was kind of frustrated about that. <laughs> Bless his heart. So he can get back to recording videos. All right. Um, 
leak in a little bit here. <laughs> but I'm trying to get to this part just to show you what I'm doing right there. And I am going to be doing a QA and a all this month answering questions. Um, this video just didn't work out that way. But feel free to leave questions in this in the comment section under this video and I will start answering those I guess in the next one when I'm just crocheting and not talking as much about the project you know or what's going on um, and I you know have the list from Monday's video and then I'll just add this to the running list and just answer questions all month long while we are crocheting on this happy birthday blanket but I am gonna have to rest my arm for just one second here just put my arm down for a minute okay um now we are at the part where we have a corner here for this square and a corner here for this square and they're really close together so what we're gonna do is our um, we chained one from this one we chained one we're gonna do three double crochets right into this corner Now, this is mainly for people who are a chain one in between clusters like me. So, on this one right here, we're not going to chain one. I'm not chaining one right here. I'm just going to come right to this corner and do three double crochets. And this might look a little bit odd, but as the other rows are added on, this is going to look fine. It will look fine. It will not look jacked up. It'll work out just great. And then after this cluster, I'm going to go back to chaining one. So I'm just going to chain one and jump right over and do this cluster. So I'm going to do chain one between all my clusters except for the corner I'm chaining two in the corner spaces and where the squares are joined I'm not going to chain any I'm just going to do cluster cluster okay see and that is close together but whenever the other rounds come on it's going to look fine it's not going to be um, looking like you messed up or anything like that. So, cluster, chain one, cluster, cluster, chain one, cluster. So, I'm going to do that all the way around. When I get right here, I'm not going to chain one. I'm just going to do cluster, cluster, and coming on down. And when I get to these sides here, I'll do the same thing. No, no chain ones. And then come back up and join here. So, that is what I'm doing. Now, for what I'm doing for my blanket, for these next few rounds, I'm going to do one round of purple, the cyan, slime, yellow, bright orange, hot pink, and then the white. I'm going to do one round of that. And then after that, I'm not going to do a complete round each time. I only bought one skein of each yarn, so I want that to last. So what I'm going to do after I get these, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows all the way around. The blue is going to go all, I mean, yeah, the grape, green, I start, no, I was trying to say grape for some reason. <laughs> the purple, I'm going to go all the way around. The blue, all the way around and make full complete rows. After that, if you continue making full complete rows, well, the more as your yarn as your as it gets bigger and bigger, the more you're going to use off that skein, you're going to run out of that color, right? Okay, so we don't want to run out. We want to keep on crocheting with just our one skeins of each color. 
So what I'm going to end up doing after that is I'm just going to pull yarn off of here and just, you know, ball up a ball of yarn of each color. Now, my yarn, my balls won't be the same size because I don't want them to be the same size. They might even look like they're the same size, but they won't be wound tight. They each won't be wound, you know, tight and just the same way. Some of them might be wound loose. Some of them might be wound tighter. Um, I don't want those balls to be the same size. I want them to be random, but still a good bit of yarn, right? And so, then whenever I start back over the purple, I'll just have a ball of purple. And I'm just going to crochet over how that purple goes when it runs out. I'm going to tie my blue onto it and just keep going. Same thing. Tie my next color on and keep going. So they won't make full complete circles. I mean rounds. Going all the way around it. They won't make full complete rounds. That way my yarn lasts. It still, it looks random, but it still flows pleasingly to the eye. And, um, it'll all work out in the end, I promise you. Now, if you're one that you're like, oh no, I want my rounds to go all the way around, that's perfectly fine. Do that, but you're going to need more yarn. You're going to need to purchase more yarn or either find more yarn in your stash. I don't want to, um, buy more yarn for this blanket. And I want to, um, I want to use what I'm using and I want it to be, I want mine to be random. Now you may not be a random person and that's fine. Do it ever how you want to do it. I'm just explaining how I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> no judging, no judging. If you do it your way, <laughs> you do it ever how you want to do it and how you're going to like it because you might not like my way. <laughs> Oh, that is the lovely, lovely thing about crochet. There's no right or wrong way. And you're the artist. So create it ever how you want to. I don't think I did that one. Yeah, I did. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, that I don't look like a double crochet. Um, but yeah, you're the artist of your blanket. So you create it ever how you like. But guys, I've enjoyed talking with you guys today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. It is Wednesday. And um, I'm going to crochet on this. I will be back to do another video tomorrow. It'll be easier for me now. I've got this part done. And I can just crochet around and chat and talk and, you know... Um, visit with you guys and hopefully all my frustration is gone <laughs> oh, I tell you the hardest part is starting the granny square when you don't have anything to hold on to and you don't have anything um, helping you know your, your tension is just wacky my tension is just wacky okay because I'm having to try to relearn that and starting projects is the hardest part. But I did it. I mean, it was frustrating. I threw it a couple of times. <laughs> I threw my hands up a couple of times and just threw it on my desk and walked away and went and cried a little bit. <laughs> Ain't that silly? But sometimes I was just so frustrated. I was just so frustrated. But they all turned out fine, right? It looks fine. <laughs> anyway, guys, remember, it is a beautiful day to crochet. And I will see you all in the next video. I hope you enjoy your day and do something that you enjoy. Bye, friends. Ooh, I'm going to keep crocheting since I'm on a little roll here where it's going good. <laughs> Let's see if I can get one more. Mm. 